Hello, folks, and welcome to Species. We're back in our world. Uh, we've been running it for quite a while now, and I just want to start off by thanking everyone for uh, the amazing comments. It really helps me out, get, gives me ideas. Uh, there are many good suggestions, and I'll bring up a few as we play here. Uh, the first of them being Fence It Off, and also our nursery apparently is failing because somewhere it says... I don't remember where it says this, but someone said that it said it in the comments. I, I'll actually look it up. That smaller values uh, actually help are better than higher values. If you have too high of a radiation value in the nursery, that actually is not very good. And to be honest, it makes sense, right? Because if you oh, our population's actually like collapsing. It feels like every time I open the save, for some reason. Everyone just decides to die. That's weird. But yeah, we have the game paused here. Let's move in a specimen. Make sure that the nursery radiation isn't too high. In fact, we'll uh, almost leave it with... Almost as the background radiation here. Just a little bit. Yeah. 1.2 times the background radiation should be enough. And we'll, uh, we'll allow that to run. Wait, did I actually finish my thought? So it, it makes sense, right? Because if you have too much radiation... Suddenly the aberration is way too much and you can't really control. Here the aberrations are, you know, sl slow and steady and the nursery can do its job. Kill off the ones that are not good enough and uh, feed the ones that are just right. Without uh, suddenly getting a ne the next generation being totally different. Right, one of the top comments on uh, video or episode 3 was that there is a prey versus predator thing when you start a new world, uh, that isn't just a blank slate. I'm going to revive that creature there. Uh, and I had no idea. Uh, apparently someone someone else answered that it's sort of broken. But we're definitely going to try that if we ever... Or, well, of course, we're going to restart the map eventually. Um, maybe not now. Because things are... I mean, things have been going up and down quite a bit. But uh, things are going okay now. And I think we're going to experiment a bit with what we have. If we look here, though, it looks like things are changing. Oh, wait, what? I thought the radiation was, like, really low. How are we already at, like, crazy flying creatures? Yeah, and someone mentioned that we were probably having problems because we have too much of a, you know, one big hill on this map right here. In fact, just for fun, I feel like I want to carry over a specimen of you here and let's uh, let's feed you and let's put you here in the like oh will you survive come on please survive so as someone suggested I'm going to draw a big fence here across the map divide north and south roughly uh, we are going to delete this later but uh, yeah now we have a big fence dividing north and south and we actually didn't even need to move someone over here uh, we already have a population that's uh, moved here by itself, or has a, is, is stuck here now, rather. God damn it! It, it looks like uh, they didn't flee the nursery, but they were—they're definitely not in the nursery anymore. Let's capture, capture you there. Oh, there's a cool setting here. So, automatic population controls has been on for a while, and someone was suggesting that I was going to mess with the cap on how many creatures you can have in the world and I couldn't find it but I found this and there's this other mechanic that uh, so basically automatic population control once you start hitting the cap of uh, the n number of creatures it automatically decreases or changes meat and uh, grazing efficiency to uh, decrease the population but then there's this H and C which is like I guess herd herbivores and carnivores and it raises and lowers meat and vegetarian efficiency or vegetation efficiency independently so that herbivores can't abuse the automatic population control to become much bigger. So we're actually going to turn that on. Um, I, I'd like to see that. Well, shit. We reached the population cap and I think the rovers just killed everyone on this island here. But uh, we do have a massive population over here, though. That's kind of interesting. Oh, we have some cool stuff evolving here. Really big legs. I actually want to see you uh, survive. I'm gonna make sure you survive. 
Yeah, the nursery still seems to be kind of broken underwater for some reason. Um, so you know what? We're going to slowly start... You know, our fence is really a pain in the ass here. Uh, let's move you south of the fence and uh, hope that you survive here. Come on. Oh, you guys. Oh, it was horrifying. Suddenly I released, like, a creature onto the southern island here, or not island, the southern section of this, uh, landmass, and boom! Within a couple of seconds we were at over a thousand creatures, my computer was chugging, and it's sort of weird, I mean, I love the game, but there's, uh, there's some sort of optimization there, and that's, uh, that's, I think, made it worse, because I remember I had a, a worse computer back in the day in the uh, for the earlier episodes before this particular patch, and uh, it could handle a lot more creatures. Maybe it's because I have the creature detail at such a high value, but uh, you know what? I think it's time to actually start a new map. This is, this map has been fun, but you know, let, let's try something new. Let's try it with a different start and experiment around with uh, a few more things. I'm very sorry. I really wanted to experiment more with this map, have climate control raise and lower the sea level, but yeah, this uh, this was not, uh, it's not working out very well. Right, so back in the day there was only initialized random and initialized uh, blank slate. Now you can also initialize from exported and you can also initialize an aquatic aquatic life form and also a predator and prey scenario. We're gonna start with a predator and prey scenario. Uh, we are going to start with 250 creatures. That's the basic, and uh, then we're gonna mess around here with the creature cap, so that things um, not just the creature cap. We're also gonna mess with the map and all the other things and make sure that everything will run uh, sort of stable. All right, here we go. Predator and prey. 250 creatures. We're gonna have the normal world size. We're gonna place our nursery here. If you want the same uh, height map that we have here, we have a, a seed of 759 lake style with uh, this slope gradient, and we're putting our nursery quite high up there so that we can uh, actually control it. Uh, temperature. We're gonna do noise map variation as normal here as we. Do fertility, I prefer static. And uh, then we also have. Right, the creature cap, I'm gonna lower. I'm gonna see if that actually changes, because I'm worried that there's a performance issue of the fact that once you also cap, it also decreases your frame rates for some reason. I've had that happen before. Uh, so that this will partially be a test of that. Uh, parthogenic, we're gonna have automatic population control. Uh, that uh, herbivore and carnivore variation there. Tree growth, all of this just set to normal. Shoot tutorial messages, no thank you. And uh, we're gonna generate this. Immediately, super spread out, super cool. Uh, and they're all, most of them are in the water, so we're gonna see what happens here. Uh, but there's definitely, I think it's two different groups. We're gonna have to zoom two here. These are the uh, prey, and these are the predators. Ah, uh, and the predators are already dead. Fantastic. I think that's one of the things that I was warned about. Uh, we're gonna lower the fertility a little bit just here. I like my numbers even. Now, here's our nursery. Are we gonna mess with it? Of course we are, and now it's above water, so we're definitely going to place a few creatures here. See what happens. Oh. What? You were you just ate your friend? That's not very nice. Alright, I'm gonna feed you there. Make sure that Oh whoa 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 whoa. What the hell is that? Do you see that? I'm not the only crazy person seeing that, am I? The crazy Oh right, it's the zoom, I guess. Why is it so close though? Like what? Okay, you know what? Let's zoom in on you. What is that what? Oh wh what? Do you guys see this? I'm not I'm not crazy, am I? What the hell? Yeah, all right. The camp is uh yeah, we're at the camp and it's kind of nice, it's stable. I know it's not a lot of creatures, but we'll have to live with this cuz that is how it seems like my computer what my computer can safely handle at the moment even though I have a beast of a machine. 
All right, apparently it says that we're slowly moving in this direction, but are we though? Like I see, v I don't see the changes that the nursery says are happening. Do you guys see any creature here that looks like that? I don't. Ah, oh, I think this is a really nice map and I'm going to have fun with this one. Uh, I like the, the fact that the islands are spread out, we have good vegetation between them, and now it's just really a matter of time. Uh, we just need to watch this. We have a, a clean clay diagram here for us to watch, and we're definitely going to get three major species. The nursery, oh there, right, if we just zoom out a little bit. We can see the, the entirety of the map there, including the nursery, but the nursery doesn't really matter much, so it doesn't, yeah. Alright, that's okay. Population history, one major population, and uh, we'll get back to this once, uh, once things start developing. These guys are in not so bad a state. In fact, I'm going to feed you and release you into the water here. See if you survive. Hopefully you do. Come on, survive. Spread, prosper. Alright, let's release another one of these uh, these guys that are developing in the nursery. See if you survive. I think you might, actually. The other guys didn't survive. Oh yes, things are happening. This is cool. Imagine this in like, thousands of generations. Oh yeah. This is epic. We seem to have successfully uh, let out a couple of specimens here that are starting to flourish under underwater. You can see them here, just swimming along. Uh, but otherwise, the populations on the main islands here have all disappeared. Aside from this one, it's very colorful here because of the thought bubbles. Let's turn those off. It's just like a bunch of clumps of fat. But uh, I have uh, I have hopes. You know, in the future, they might become something. Every single specimen that I release does not survive very long, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. I mean, let's release them into the water here, you'll see. Like, they'll eat and then they'll die, I've released them onto land, they'll have a few children, children and then they'll, all the children will die. Uh, it's very unfortunate. I guess we'll just have to allow nature to do its thing. Let's drastically lower the, the water level here, let's see what happens. Uh, we are almost an, at an extinction point, so let's actually watch the map just expand here on its own. Come on, survive. No, 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 no. Please survive. That's not... Damn it, come on, survive. Everyone, just resuscitate. Survive. You know what? Fuck the nursery. Just, I'm gonna take everyone out of the nursery. I'm just gonna dump them here and see what happens. Oh wow, they're actually surviving, but why is the, uh, why are the nursery robots acting like, like, I've literally released them into the wild here, so that they wouldn't, so the nursery wouldn't have to bother with them, but it looks like, uh, they have. Because, like, the rover was feeding them. Mass extinction. God damn. Oh. Damn it. You know, you start a new map thinking things are going to go great, and then they don't. Alright, we're going to have to import someone. One of the creatures we exported from our last uh, world here. Let's see. And they will, of course, f flourish. Oh, no. They went extinct. You know what? Import creature. Import 17. Go ahead. I know you're on fire, just eat, have food. Whoa, you're all walking together, that was pretty cool. Hey, no, 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 no. And half of you can go to, like, over here or something. But you're all on fire? That's co that's not, okay. Uh, what about here? Th this should be cold enough for you. It isn't? God damn it. Alright folks, what are your tips? How do I solve this problem? How do I make a stable world that uh, doesn't <laughs> go through mass extinction here? And uh, what should we do if we do get a stable world? Please let me know. I think we're gonna go on with this particular map. We might change a little bit, a few of the settings. If you have any ideas, I'd appreciate. 
Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Game Capture. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Farewell.